Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kane and thank you for clicking on today's video. I know it has been so long since I posted a video guys. I'm so sorry. I have had just so much stuff going on. I dyed my hair. I got some new hair that I dyed. I tried to make a video on all of these things. Dyeing my hair. Dyeing my wig. I did a video on how to install a wig. I did a video on how to curl your wig, wear your wig, rock your wig, melt your lace, anything and everything to do about wigs. I also did a video on the Ipsy Glam bag that I got. I did all of these videos and then I had them all on my computer. I spent $300 on the Final Cut Pro to edit all these videos and then what happened? My computer freaking crashed, my computer died, my computer said a big F you and I lost everything I had. I lost my $300 software. I lost everything. And now it's all gone. And now I have to start all over. I have to make videos all over, which I figured, you know, I already did the video. I already did the look. I don't like recreating the same videos, even if I haven't posted it for you guys. So I have to make new videos. And my skin has kind of been acting up a little bit. As you can see, I have a few pimples coming around. Guys, I have like lip oil on, plumping lip oil, like, so guys, my skin has been kind of acting a little crazy. As you can see, I'm no longer blonde. I am red with orange tips. And I also, my wig that I dyed is also red to orange to yellow. So it all blends together, guys. So for today's video, I figured since it's getting closer to like Halloween, it's fall, maybe we could do a nice little like Halloween slash fall I look together. I don't know if I'm gonna lean more towards the Halloween-y side or more towards like an everyday fall look. I kinda just wanted to sit down with you guys, play with some new makeup, try some new things. So guys, if you have not already clicked that red subscribe button, please go down and click it right now. It doesn't cost you anything, it's free, and it helps me out so much when you guys click that button. It helps my channel grow, it helps me know that people are out there want to actually watch my videos. So please hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon right next to it so YouTube can notify you guys every time I post a new video. If you guys don't click that bell and you don't click that subscribe, you won't know when I post new videos. And if you don't know when I post new videos, then you guys are missing out. So please subscribe to my channel. And then one more thing. At the end of this video, if you guys can click the share button and share this video on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, anything, just share this video, send it to a friend, send it to your mama, send it to your data, send it to everybody. Guys, it helps me out so much when you guys share my video because how does my channel grow? And when my channel grows, I get more views, I get more likes, I get more comments, and I get more subscribers. And the more of that I get, the more motivation I have to keep creating all these videos for you guys because it is a lot of work. It takes me almost a whole day just to edit one video. But because I love making these videos so much for you guys, I don't mind it and I will do it for you guys. But it means so much to me when the channel starts growing and you guys like my videos, comment on my videos, and subscribe to my channel and share my videos for everyone else to see. So, guys, I have no clue kind of what we're going to do today. I don't even know what palette we're going to get into. Um, I don't know. I think we might use the Morphe. Hmm. Maybe we'll use Fierce by Nature or maybe we'll go with James Charles. I don't even know, guys. But one thing I do know is I want to try out this new... This is... Chameleana, Chameleana, I don't even know what that says, Chameleana and Strobe Luminizing Primer, I have never used this primer yet, it's by the brand Serafina Botanicals, so I got this in my glam bag, so I'm really excited to try this out, it's a luminizing primer, I don't really use luminizing primers because I mostly go for a matte look, but when I do want like a kind of like a luminous foundation I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills luminous foundation foundation for more of a luminous finish 
So this might be cool to use and see how it is. So guys, I guess we are going to just jump into the video and see what we create. Like I said, I'm not really sure what we're doing. I just kind of sat down to do a video for you guys because I haven't done one in a while and I really enjoy doing it. Once again, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon. Also, leave a big thumbs up on this video and leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of videos you want to see, what kind of looks you want to see, what kind of palettes or foundations or eyeliners or powders or anything you guys want me to try out any brands you want me to try out anything leave that down below and also please don't forget at the end to share this video I'm gonna leave you guys another reminder at the end to share the video so you guys without further ado let's just jump into the video I don't know what we're doing but I guess we'll find out <laughs> in with my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I applied a liberal amount of the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base to my whole face. Ew, I just said that was the British accent. What is wrong with me today, guys? I can't say liberal. I can't say Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Alright, but anyway, we are also gonna go in with the Kamaliana. I can't even say, I can't say anything today. We're gonna go in also with this. Guys, ignore my nails. They're so ratchet and disgusting from dyeing the hair. They like stained them, and because I've had my nails on for so long and then like ripped them off, it like cracked down my nails and stuff. But we're gonna try out this new face primer today. So, this face primer claims that it is vegan it's all natural I can't show you guys and read it at the same time so it says it's vegan no parabens no mineral oils no phthalates no gluten it has rose flower water it has chameleona seed oil gold of pleasure typoallergenic and non comedogenic I don't know, and it's not tested on animals, so everything in here is amazing for you, I guess, and even better because they don't test on animals. So they are Corule a tea free. So on the back it says Peach Glow. Um, I guess so it's 0.50 fluid ounces, uh, Hydrant Luminex, whatever that means. And again, this is by the brand Serafina Botanicals. So it comes in this cute little packaging. It has little flowers all over it. Doesn't really have a scent. And it definitely is like... If you can't... I think you guys should be able to see that. It definitely has like a good shine to it so it kind of almost reminds me of like a highlighter to be honest because it has this like sheen to it but all right so I guess I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this all around the face I have no clue how much of this you are supposed to use and this also says it's hydrating, which is really good because lately, around my mouth area here, around my nose here, has been extremely dry. Like, I have been peeling like crazy, and that's so not cute. So, I'm just applying this everywhere. Um, my nose doesn't really matter that much because I am going to go in with my concealer on the nose trick and if you don't know what I'm talking about then just stay tuned and you'll see so I think guys like I have this benefit hello happy as long as the as long with the benefit hello happy powder and honestly I think I've used this foundation like once since I got it so I guess let's go in with this this is the benefit hello happy foundation um, it says flawless brightening foundation. I have mine in the color Three I guess it says three on it No, 
not exactly sure. Let me see what this powder says. Yeah, so I'm guessing the color's in three because the powder also says three. So I am going to go in, just grab some of my Evian water spray and spray down. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Blender. So I'm just spraying that down with that because I am too lazy to get up and go get some water. So I have that, and just in case I don't like that, I have my regular Real Technique sponge also. So I am just going to go ahead and pump this directly onto my face. Let that sit for a second, and while that is sitting, I'm going to grab my MAC Concealer. Um, this is in the color I have no clue. I've had this for so long, I can't even find a color on it. So I'm literally going to just grab that with my little tiny, this is my Wet n Wild Concealer Brush, and I'm literally just going to dig around in this bad boy. And then, like, literally apply this to my whole nose. And anywhere where I kind of have, like, a big pore, I'm going to, like, smush it in, kind of, like this. Like, roll it. And because this is such, like, a thick, heavy concealer, it's going to kind of, like, hold it in place. And I'm just also going to pull this around a few places to color correct under my foundation. So once you have that around, and I just recommend you take your beauty blender and kind of set that into place it's gonna look crazy because it's like a lot but don't worry too much kind of like I literally look crazy like this is so white for my skin but guys I promise don't worry and then I'm gonna grab a little fluffy brush like this and use this to kind of blend around the eyes because I don't want to pull it up too high. Just kind of want to blend it in place where it is. So then just make sure you fill it in all around your nose. So this is going to help. So I, for some reason, can never, ever, ever get foundation to like set on my nose. Like it always, always, always wants to run away. So now we can go ahead and spread our foundation all over. Guys, I really am not liking this beauty blender. It's like very hard. And I almost feel like it's like picking up the product more than it's like distributing it. It's like very hard. Alright, yeah, I'm really not feeling this. Guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and just use my Real Techniques sponge. Why does this look so white on camera? So, I'm just going to grab another pump on the back of my hand. And go over a few spots where I want a little bit more coverage. Like, guys, this I feel like for some reason is so so freaking light on the camera but in person it's really not that bad I feel like that's always the struggle though like I feel like getting my foundation to look good on camera and then also look good in real life is like two different facts like my camera is either making my foundation look ridiculous but in real life my foundation is looking on point or it's the opposite way around. So I'm just gonna grab my brush. I like to use a brush for the nose because I kinda like blend the product in so it goes into the pores. And then I stipple it on after just to create a smooth texture. 
So I'm gonna grab just like a half a pump more so that we can put a little bit down the neck to kind of blend everything in. And also on the ears. I kind of think I remember now why I only used this foundation once and stopped using it because I really don't care for it. Like it's kind of showing here like the dry skin. It's kind of like separating under my eyes. Setting in to all of my fine lines. Like up here, I don't know what it's doing. So I guess sticking with Benefit, we are gonna go in with the Boing Cakeless Concealer. I have this in a mini and a number two. So I'm just going to put some here. Now, for some reason, I feel like when I wear this concealer, it is either a hit or a miss. This concealer either looks really good or it just looks like garbage. And I feel like for me, there is no in-between. I'm either having a really good day with this or I'm having a horrible day. I don't know what it is, I don't understand why, don't ask me, I feel like that's just how it is with this. So I am going to just try and blend this out, I don't like that, I don't usually ever use brushes for anything so I don't even know who I was playing trying to do it like that. I feel like my problem is this concealer dries down very very fast so you really kind of have to work pretty quick with this or else you're kind of screwed because once it dries it's dry and you're gonna ruin the rest of your makeup trying to spread it once it's already dried because then you're gonna start picking up your makeup and I feel like that's the problem I have with this is I don't move fast enough sometimes so when I'm doing my makeup, it kind of sets, and then I try to blend it out, and it's not blending, and it's not going anywhere. Alright, so I'm just going to go in with a little bit more, because I kind of really want to cover up these under eye bags that I have going on. So guys, I feel like this concealer is not bad. I do kind of like it. Like, I especially like it because it's like, it says it's cakeless so like it doesn't really like cake up so I do enjoy it for like if I am not going to be wearing a lot of makeup and I just want to like conceal a couple spots I feel like this is excellent for that because it kind of just brightens but because it's like cakeless all right so for today we are also going to be cream contouring Ew, that was ugly. Using Huda Beauty, my go-to, my fave focus camera. No, nope, we're not going to focus. All right. So for this, I am just going to take the back of this and just dip in and kind of do a couple dots. All right, and then for the nose. I'm gonna do like that, but then I'm going to grab just a little tiny fluffy brush and use that to blend this out. And at first, it's going to look crazy. It's gonna look like a lot, but I'm gonna go over it with some powder and it will kind of tone her down so now I'm gonna go ahead because that looks really crazy so we're gonna go ahead now with our beauty blender and just kind of go over that and it will kind of tone everything down so now that doesn't look too too crazy now we will go on to down here 
Guys, I feel like this is like the always the hardest thing to blend is like my lower jaw contour because I feel like for some reason I always like get it up onto the side of my face and like see that line? I feel like I can, I, that always happens to me. I feel like no matter how hard I try, I always end up with this freaking line. So I always have to go and make sure I really, really, really blend this out because I, for some reason, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the way I apply the contour or what, but I will always get that. So, one last cream product and we will start to powder. We're gonna go in with our Physicians Formula Blush. This is a new one, so I'm just gonna squirt some onto the back of my hand and then kind of rub it out. I'm gonna just kind of dab it on and then blend it out. Ew, I really don't like the way that was sitting on our face. Kind of like took some of my makeup off to be honest. So let me just grab a little bit of our ColourPop blush stick. Spread some of that just onto the back of the hand. And as well then just grab the beauty blender and apply that. And you can kind of go a little heavy with this because we are going to powder. So it's pretty much going to make it go away almost. And then you're going to have to just reapply a powder blush over it. So for the eye area, I am going to go in with my Kylie. Translucent powder. Oh my god, that was so much. So I dumped out so much. So I'm just gonna dip the beauty blender in and go under the eye, packing that in. And then let's just bake our under eye area and go ahead and do the smile lines and then we are going to use the other our benefit powder to go around the rest of our face all right so i'm going to grab a big fluffy brush this is the m527 yes and this is the hello happy powder in the color three so i'm just gonna dip my brush into that and go over my whole face so now I'm gonna go ahead and just contour a little bit more I'm gonna use my this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour in the color saddle so with this I am just going to grab I'm gonna grab this is like a very fluffy this is the M or the M this is the E4, just like a tapered brush. I kind of prefer this brush because it's a little bit more looser packed for using this type of a contour. So something like this, the Anastasia one, because it's very dark, I prefer something a little bit more loose. But then when I'm coming to like, when I'm gonna use like a bronzer or something with a shimmer, I want, I like to use this brush. So this is the M405. It's a tapered brush as well, but it's a little bit more densely packed, so it kind of picks up more product and it kind of blends it out better. So I like to use that for that, but when I am doing something like this, which is such a dark color, I like to use a bit of a more like fluffier brush. So we're just going to dip into that, tap off the extra, and go ahead and contour. And then don't forget to do the forehead. So then I will go ahead and use this tip as well. I'll dip that into the product, knock it off, and then just kind of use that to contour the sides of my nose. Because I still have this powder on it. So I don't really need to be exactly precise per se. 
and this is gonna kind of brush off a little bit of that powder as well and then also don't forget to go on the jaw kind of want to just darken up here a little bit more the one thing I do like about this contour though it is very dark but the thing is if you use just a little bit of it you can kind of really like build it up to like a really good shade so also so also I'm gonna just put that away really quick and grab this this is the benefit it has the hula bronzer in it so I'm just gonna actually dip into that just a tad bit too because it's a little bit of a more warmer toned so I'm gonna just add a little bit of that as well so I'm then going to go ahead and grab the 405 I'm going to grab the watermelon palette and we are gonna go into the bronzer this is called a melon dramatic you guys have seen me use this a million times I absolutely love 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 this bronzer this is like gorgeous it has a little bit of like a shimmer to it but it's not like too too shimmery I hate it when you have a bronzer that pretty much looks like almost like a highlighter when it's that freaking like shimmery this has literally just like the perfect amount of shimmer to where it doesn't look too 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 crazy but it definitely is like hey I'm there what are you doing hello so then just to go and make life easy we are gonna also dip into the blush from here and just kind of use that to just kind of go over this blush and give it a little bit more pigment so now we can go ahead I'm gonna grab this is my elf little brush and I really like to use this for brushing away powders under the eyes because it gets in there very well all right so I'm going to go ahead and throw my eyebrows on really quickly. I don't know. I kind of want to draw my eyebrows on like red. Like I'm really feeling this red hair, the red shirt, the red everything. I almost want to draw on red eyebrows. Would I be completely crazy? Guys, if I draw on red eyebrows, that means I can go more towards like a Halloween-y look. So I can do like red eyeshadow, maybe some black. Guys, I think I might do it. Call me crazy. But if I come back and I have red eyebrows, then you know we are going for a Halloween look. If I come back and I have normal eyebrows, that means I check it out. So <laughs> let's see what happens. Alright guys, so I did it. So I still don't know if we're going to go with Halloween-y or if we're going to go with like everyday-ish. Ish, as I'm saying. But I guess we will find out once we start getting into this so i decided we're gonna go into the 3503 fierce by nature this palette is absolutely gorgeous it has some beautiful if i don't drop it first it has some beautiful reds it has a couple greens but like i think only two so this is the palette absolutely gorgeous it has a nice reds oranges this is like the perfect fall palette so we're gonna dip into this palette today because of all the nice shades that it has. So, I already went ahead and primed my lids. I used my Shape Tape Concealer and a white... I, um, my Shape Tape Concealer with a white eyeshadow just to set it. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab... This is my Betty Boop little brush. It's from the Ipsy box or ipsy bag came with this nice little fluffy brush so I'm gonna use this and I think we're just gonna go like right into it all right so I'm gonna dip into tempting and just kind of put this all throughout the crease so guys the one thing I am worried about though is that I'm gonna like blend my eyebrow off because I did have to use eyeshadows. I thought I had a red eyeliner 
and I was gonna draw the eyebrow in with the red eyeliner but then of course I never ever ever wear red eyeliner and I know I got one because I specifically bought it because I thought it was like the perfect shade to use it as a lip liner but then now I couldn't find it so then I was gonna use a lip liner to draw in my eyebrows but the only lip liner I have has like a blue undertone and I'm like eh, I kind of want just like a red red and the only red red that I could find was this one and this is the um, James Charles palette so I'm now gonna go ahead and dip into flame game I'm just trying to kind of build up like this orangish red color crease so I kind of want it to be more on the orangey side and then I think maybe we'll do like a little bit of a cut crease with like a red in it maybe something like that so I think I'm really gonna flick these colors out because want to do a cut crease I think so I'm really gonna focus on flipping them outwards see guys this eye is like peeling almost like the skin is kind of like flaking off on it which is crazy all right so now we're gonna go into the color red alert And now I'm just gonna grab like a big this is a 441 and I'm gonna dip back into the tempting color and just kind of use that to a little bit blend out these edges some so I'm doing this as long as being very very careful as to not hit the eyebrow because this will literally just wipe the eyebrow right off. All it is is eyeshadow. So now I am going to grab a little bit of a smaller pointed brush. This is the JS9. I think we're going to go into my eye color. So we're going to go between a couple different palettes because I want to get some nice red. So we're now going to go into the James Charles palette. And we are going to dip into Rusted. It's this nice, like, dark orangey color. And just kind of put her into the crease. So then once we have that, we're going to go into the color You're Kidding. That is the same color that we... Actually, before we do that, let's dip into a little bit of tune and see if we can use that to kind of blend this out a little bit more. I'm actually going to grab a brand new brush, dip into tune, this is again a 441. So now going back to our JS9. We're going to dip into your kidding, same color that we used for the eyebrows, and just put that in the crease. We are really trying to just darken up this crease area. So now I'm going to go back into that 441 and blend that red, you are kidding out. So now let's go back to the 305 and we're going to dip back into Tempton and use that to just help blend it out a little bit. So now let's grab a very little brush. This is a JS12. So I guess we're going to go into Warning Label. And you that to darken out our crease and that is in the fierce by nature palette by the way 
So we're using this color and we're kind of creating a V in the outer corner of the eye and then pulling it in. So now I'm going to go back to the little Betty Boop brush and blend. And to blend, I'm actually going to grab a little bit of orange. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease really quickly and then I'll be right back. We can kind of finish this up and work together with a little bit, a little more. Because I'm kind of just doing like a monochromatic look. Red hair, red brows, red eyes, red lips at this point. I might do something crazy with my eyeliner to do like a little Halloween-y thing. But I'm going to cut the crease and then do an orange lid. And yeah, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so it has literally taken me about like 45 minutes now to do this. So I cut my crease and then I started drawing on my eyeliner and I was like, hey, let's do something cool. So I drew little pumpkins. I drew little like jack-o'-lantern pumpkin faces on my eyeliner. I thought that was pretty neat and pretty cool. So now, guys, I am using my magnetic lashes. So I drew that, I drew this part on using, this is the Tardiest Amazonian Clay Eyeliner. And then I'm using the magnetic lash liner, I guess. And then these are the magnetic lashes. Will you focus? Will you focus? Probably not. Well, there is a little magnets on this. Come on, focus. Whatever. There's little magnets on the lash itself. Oh, there we go. See the little magnets on the eyelash? There's four of them. And those stick to the liner but the thing is you have to put like four layers of this stuff so I have one layer down I'm gonna go in do the rest of the layers and then I'm gonna kind of like fix up where they connect so that they look really cute so I am just doing that I'm gonna go ahead and apply three more layers and then we will move on to the lips because that is the one thing that I hate about these magnetic lashes the fact that you have to go like three or four times over it but when I tell you that like once you have them down and you put them on like they are on these are like literally blew my mind I actually tested these out in a video but that's one of the videos that got lost when the computer crashed so whatever but I'm gonna put them on again and like show you guys but they are like freaking amazing alright so we are going to just apply some mascara now I'm going to use the damn girl mascara for my top lashes. Alright, and now I'm going to go grab my roller lash for the bottom. I really like this for my bottom lashes because it's really small and it has like little tiny bristles which you can't see, whatever. Oh, I hate this. I always like hold my breath whenever I'm doing like anything to do with my eyes, like eyeliner, mascara, like my lash lines, like anything like that, I always hold my breath and it makes me crazy. We have to do lips, highlight, but first, let me just show y'all how freaking cool these damn lashes are. So, I am just gonna grab the lash, take the furthest magnet out, and put it to the outside edge and then pull in the rest of them and guys there was absolutely no glue at all like look at this lash no glue look it's not sticking there's nothing on and look I have an eyelash on because y'all these are magnetic eyelashes these are the most amazing invention in the world like I really want to go buy a pair of these or even like once this pair gets kind of like ratty I'm gonna figure out a way to pull these magnets off 
and to glue the magnets onto my Lily lashes if they hold on. These are a lot heavier than these, I have to say. But I absolutely freaking love these because they are so easy. My lashes are on literally with a magnet. Look at these. Look at these lashes. Freaking magnets. Magnets are holding these lashes right on the end of my eye. This is revolutionary, y'all. Like, this is the most amazing thing ever. I love it. And then all I do is squeeze the end so that my lashes can kind of like go up into the lash so that it can oh I look really yellow I can I just do that so that my lashes can kind of set into that and now we are going to highlight so for highlighter we are going to grab this Morphe palette I'm gonna grab my highlighting brush and we are going to dip into Spark today. And highlight. Hello. Blinding. Like this highlighter. This whole palette, guys. Like this whole palette is just magnificent. Like these three darker shades don't really work on my skin tone because I am so pale. But sometimes I do still like wear them like I mix them together with a, like a the lighter highlight and guys when I tell you it's still it looks amazing it freaking looks amazing so we're gonna go with stardust because I think it's a really cute color it has this like really pretty like kind of like purpley bluish like I don't even know it's just so pretty this is going to go on the inner corner, and I think we're going to dip into Cosmic for our brow bone. Alright guys, so onto the lips. We're going to do red lips also, so I'm going to just go ahead and line my lips really quick, y'all. And I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Lip Liner in the color Kitten Heels. Alright, so the lips are lined. And now I'm going to grab my Ive Saint Laurent. This is in the color 01. And it's this pretty red shade. And let me just do a little highlight down my nose. Alright guys. So I think we are all set. Let me go ahead and I'm just going to spray a little bit of Fix Plus. Alright, let's dry our face off. Guys, these lashes are still holding. The wind is blowing. They're still holding. I really, really, really recommend these lashes, guys. I love them so much. They're so easy. Because, first of all, I hate glue. The only reason I'm going to wear eyelashes and glue them is if I'm wearing my Lily Lashes. Miami's are, like, my go-to favorite lashes in the entire world. So, if I'm gluing down a lash... It's going to be these. Alright guys, so this is our final look. We have the Halloween inspired. I really want to say this is like a Halloween look. I mean, you could totally wear this out for Halloween. Like, it has these cute little jack-o'-lanterns. I have little like a pumpkin-y color eye on. I think it's actually really adorable. I really love it, but... I, I dig it. It is Halloween, I guess. But this is something that, like, well, I'm crazy, guys. So, like, this is something I would wear out, like, maybe not to, like, a lunch or something. But, like, if I was just going out to, like, to a club or something, like, and it was near Halloween, I guess, yeah, I would wear this. But, like, I just think this is really cute. It's really adorable. Like, little halloween -y moment. We have the red, the orange hair with this. So, give me one second and I will be right back with the finished look. Alright guys, so here is my finished Halloween 
look, I guess you can call it. So we have this bright. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm really not like trying to have to glue this whole wig down right now because that is a literally like a whole process that would take all of the makeup off from around the corners of my face. So we're gonna just like pretend like this crazy hair is glued down. But so this is my hair that I was telling y'all about in the beginning of this video. So this is the hair that I spent like Guys, I don't even know. I spent like the past like five days doing. So we're gonna just like pretend that she's all glued and laid and slayed because she's actually really cute. Like guys, I wore this hair out. I actually had this hair glued on today, but I took it out to make this video. But I'm feeling like, I don't know, for some reason lately I have really, really been feeling like fall colors I guess you would call these so let's just like so I had her today I was I wore her out like this she was let's ignore the fact she's been worn so she's not a little she's not really tight no more she's a little loose she's been worn a few times but I wore her out in a middle part she was a like so like this today and then I came home, I took her off, and tomorrow I'm going to wear her in a side part. I want a little bang action going on. So tomorrow morning I will glue her down. She will be looking like this. Um, I'm totally digging. Like, guys, let's just say this look, this is something. Like, this is literally a look. Like, when I say a look, like, guys... We have the red, the orange, the yellow hair. We have the orange eyes. Like. Alright guys. So, thank you so much for joining in for today's video. My name is Ronald McDonald. It's like. Thank you for joining today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. I had fun. This is more of like a fun video. Not so serious. Like, guys, this is a bright yellow, red, and orange wig. I dyed this hair by myself, so you know, this hair look popping, but whatever. But guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. So this is our little Halloween inspired look. We have a little jack-o'-lantern on the eye. We have our other little jack-o'-lantern on this side. It's pretty much like red. So I'm, if you guys can't tell, I am feeling red lately. Look at the red, the wig. The eyebrows, the lips, the shirt, the everything. I'm just feeling like red, 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 red. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get notified every time I post videos like crazy videos like this one, guys. So, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you all so much for joining me. And I hope you guys had a good time with this one. I'm gonna do a few more like little like Halloween looks like this coming up soon. I also really wanted to do a video like about this wig. Like I really want to do like my channel to be like hair, makeup, face, skin, clothes, everything. So I think I'm gonna do a video like really soon on like how you like I glue my wigs down, how I style my wigs how I wear my wigs because guys this girl she needs some help like she's I had her in today she was curly I came home I didn't feel like flat ironing her after like for this video so I pulled her into a side part and I literally just blue dry her straight cause she was curly but it's all good y'all so thank you so much for joining me on today's video I've said this a million times now but please please subscribe hit that bell icon so you can get notified every time I post <laughs> A new video <laughs> and thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video 